excited to see how it sorts out. And it's also kind of crazy that <laughs> six more games are going to change how a fan base and how GMs and coaches get looked at. Pretty wild. Who do you got as the biggest mirror lookers in the AL? I mean, I think the Angels are the clear-cut winner oh. for mirror lookers. And then and then the rest of it, I don't know. Like Seattle, Baltimore, Detroit, Kansas City. I don't think any of those are looking in the mirror saying, what are we? I think they're all kind of pretty firm. The Rangers is the next best mirror looker in the AL. But even them, I don't know. It was a, it was a weird thing that they tried – they were going for it. Didn't work exactly. I think they can chalk it up to the season. Um, you got a lot of mirror lookers in the NL. A lot. I, I don't want to. I don't want to get too crazy here, but <laughs> I, I actually don't even know if I want to say this on air. Okay. The yes. Rangers. Well, you don't like them. You know I don't like the Rangers. Yes. I've done. I'm not going to say it. Never mind. Never okay. mind. All I right. have another one for you, though. I have another one for you. Well, the National League, Jake. Uh, well, AL. Oh, you have someone else Houston, in the AL, the Boston? The Houston Astros need to look themselves in the mirror because they have decisions going forward, who they can keep, who they can sign. They're losing guys. Grinky obviously been amazing this year, but he's on the back end of his career, you'd assume. Yeah. Uh, they need to figure out for a long time they had a plan. The plan worked. Obviously, a few hiccups in there that'll help. Now they're at the point where a lot of these teams get to where it's like, okay, what's next? Like, do are they going to go into a full rebuild again? Yeah, that's a good one. It's a different mirror. I like that, Trev. I do I do think postseason is going to dictate how Houston feels. Like, that's a team that can still make a little bit of noise. Um, but you're right. I mean, JV out all next year. Springer is going to be a free agent. Like, the, the Houston Astros are going to feel pretty different pretty quickly. Um, yeah, it's the angels and kind of in a hilarious twist. We've been getting excited about the Mariners potentially giving a scare. The angels are a half game behind the Mariners. I, it, it'll just be hilarious if they finish their season strong and the angels finish ninth and they're like, Hey, we, we were not, we weren't that bad. We just needed more season. Um, and that sounds like something the angels would say. The Angels are the biggest mirror looker in the AL. In the NL, Jake, you have a, a couple. I'll feed you some um, mirror lookers. The look. Mets, the Mets Rockies. Mets and the Rockies, big time. I'm not even going to put the Giants on there. I think it, I think no. if the Giants are looking in the mirror, they're they're liking what they're seeing and what, what happened and what transpired, even if they miss. The Brewers, I think they're big time mirror lookers. Because they went out and made some moves this off season, and I no one kind of fully grasped them, and they didn't. Yeah, I, I don't know. They they also lost a lot of guys. I think the yeah. Brewers, it, you know, they're kind of middle of the pack, and they hope to make one push that gets them there, and they can still have it this year. So I I don't think the Brewers have a big mirror gut check. Like they didn't expect to be a dominant team. Um. I think this is kind of what the Brewers do expect them to be. I think they expected themselves to be a little more than this, but they had some untimely. Slonzo Kane opted out. Yeah, yeah. Jelly hasn't uh, been. The Phillies. Been, the Phillies is mine. I was going to say the Phillies. The Phillies don't make the top eight teams. I think that's a huge mirror looker. Yeah. It just yeah. goes to show you how important, you know, depth was this year. Uh, bullpen depth, especially, you know, the starters are, they're good. They're top heavy there. Uh, you, you need, you need starting pitching is the hardest thing to acquire and the hardest thing to develop. Um, they got two good guys. They developed one paid for one, but they need somebody from the organization to step up. And this, this is partially why we didn't want to fully deep dive on some of the baseball talk today, because, you know, in a week, the brewers could be the sixth seed and be like, Hey, Let's go Brewers. We're second in the Central. So uh, we're we're going to let it sort out a little bit. It's not worth us giving a bunch of fire takes. Um, but yeah, I, no, I, th I think the NL is going to have a couple teams that are very, very disappointed, starting with the Mets, maybe those zombie rocks, depending tonight's outcome. And then two, two three more other teams are just going to yeah. be in disbelief they didn't make an eight-team playoff. 
I, I think the Brewers are right where they want to be. I mean, they paid Yelly, they locked him up, and they got some young talent that, that's cheap for them. Keston here is making no money. Um, you know, they have some starters that kind of came and you know showed up this year and was starting pitching. Um, and and like on like Jake said, like they're just kind of a move away from every year. It seems like that, like they're right there. They make a move. They've been, you know, they've had been net positive with their moves um, in the last couple of seasons. So I think they're kind of where they want to be. The Phillies to me is the biggest one. They got to figure out what's going on there. No, it's insane. Cards, cards, brewers are playing five to wrap up the year. I I know. (laughs) So whichever team wins four of those games, has a great year they expected. <laughs> Whichever team doesn't uh, is having a nightmare. Disgusting. That's not baseball. <laughs> it is disgusting. You know who's like looking in the mirror and being like, ooh, yeah, I like it. Like the Jake White Sox, oh. the Padres. I mean, they're looking in the mirror like Alex Rodriguez looks in the mirror. They're kissing that ooh, mirror. Tasty. Yeah. Indians kind of feeling that way too. Like we get, we're getting rid of people, but we're still here. Like look, they're out. looking in the mirror because they're disgusted that they're seeing like uh, a nice. They're like, why am I wearing this suit? Can't afford this damn suit. Ooh. <laughs> I'd much rather be in street clothes, saving up for this suit. I can already afford yeah. this. This is gross. Mm, uh yeah it's either that way or like the no body image confidence like they're you know pretty good looking guy but they're looking in the mirror and they're like we're not i'm not that guy i can't you know yeah, are they yeah. wearing thanks right they're, now are they, are they holding it all in the therapist is like draw a chalk outline for what you see and they just yeah like homer simpson yeah they're, they're like svelte it's like gabe kapler and he just draws mm. 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 Gabe, mm, Kapler. let's get that Gabe Kapler beach picks going this episode. Just hot, dude. Just like yeah. so dreamy. Well, not dreamy, but just uh, you know, manly. 